immediately get out of my house because you're cruising for a bruising. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chanel and today we're going to talk about all the perfumes that I want to use in the next couple weeks. So if you guys are interested in hearing the perfumes that I want to pull out and dust off, then please just keep on watching. All right, before we get started, if you're new here and you like fragrance related content and beauty and lifestyle, but really girl, we're just talking about fragrances over here, then please consider subscribing. We would love to have you here. Welcome. Also, please like the video too if you do like it. I am trying to help my channel grow and I need your help. Also, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Chanel Got Sense. I'll leave it linked down here. Um, I still haven't really been posting over there. I'm not really sure what I wanna do over there on that channel. I'm gonna get it together. I'm gonna get my whole act together, I promise you. But yes, go ahead and follow me over there too. I think that's it. That's all the announcements. Is that all the announcements? All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is definitely not a new video idea. There are a lot of ladies on YouTube that do this. Denise Adore, I absolutely love her channel. She is so funny to me. I know she does a monthly one of these. I know Amy Glam also does a monthly one of these. Simply Aisha just started a weekly one or a bi-weekly one. I know she just started this. So this is nothing new. What really inspired me to do this was when I filmed a video talking about perfumes that were on the chopping block. I said that I was gonna wear those over the next two weeks. They were already pulled out. I knew that I needed to test them out. I knew I needed to wear them. It really kind of um, just allowed me to really focus on those perfumes. And I feel like this would be a really good idea for me to do to kind of give some of those perfumes that have been sitting on my shelf. I've been neglecting some of these. I need to pull these out and give them a chance. So yes, I decided that I'm gonna do this maybe every two weeks. I don't wanna do monthly yet. I feel like that's too long for me and that's gonna be too many perfumes yeah i'll probably do like two weeks and maybe but yeah that's what we're gonna be talking about today so yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right y'all please don't mind my voice i am getting over a cold Whew. i'm feeling much better but who i was out for a couple days boy i'm telling you i have fatigue and everything i was tired okay anyways y'all not here for that. so a couple weeks ago i talked about perfumes that were on the chopping block i do want to kind of recap and bring you my thoughts now there's some that are completely decluttering like they got to go they are up out of here for real for real i can't mm, i'm just not messing with them there's some that are still on the chopping block that i still need to play with a little bit more they're not an absolute love for me but they're not a hate for me i just need to play with them a little bit more and then there's some that i completely changed my mind about like i actually like them now so the first one for sure that's got to go i cannot like just no no this is the house of siage uh, benevolence i can't do this i tried i really tried i tried it like twice and i every time i was like oh no mm -mm, no he's got I, yeah i can't do that i can't do that one the benevolence by house of siage no ma'am, she is out. Immediately get out of my house because you're cruising for a bruising. Somebody tell me where that's from. I know one of y'all know where that's from. Anyways, all right, so House of Siage Benevolence, that's the first one to go. The next one is, ooh, I'm sorry y'all, I can't. It's too sharp and screechy for me. My, I can't do this, I just can't. It's got coconut and some white florals and I'm not sure it has something in it I just don't vibe with. I tried wearing this and every time I got a headache and just felt kind of sick to my stomach and I sprayed light too. Like I'm talking like two or three sprays. That's not how I like to wear my fragrances anyway. You guys know I am an over sprayer. Wearing two or three sprays is just not the business for me and with wearing two or three sprays I still get sick. That's when I know I'm just not like we're not to get like no. And then the next one is also by Chanel. This one I kind of hesitated on getting rid of, but I just know I'm not, I'm not gonna wear it. This is the Chanel Chance. This is the EDP. Now I've heard the EDT is really good. My girl Minx E said that I should definitely test out the EDT. So I will test that one out. Yeah, no, nah, this is just, it's not sweet. It has something sharp and also kind of aldehyde, aldehydic to me. Is that a word? Ooh. I don't know. I I just can't rock with this one. I definitely tried it. I know you guys can see I put a little bit of dent in this. I tried wearing this twice. Again, I got nauseated and sick. Didn't wear a lot of sprays with this, but just wasn't a fan of this. This one lasts forever too. I was like, golly, get off of my skin, girl. I can't do it. And then the last one I know for sure that I'm going to declutter is my Coach by Coach. This one is not bad. It's not bad. And this is probably the sweetest one and the lightest one out of the other three that I I just talked about but again it's the white florals in this that i just don't rock with it kind of has a fresh little bit of aquatic 
a feel to it, but I got a headache and that little thing that goes right up here that just annoys you. I got that when I wore this. I only wore this once and knew like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not rocking with this one. So yeah, those ones for sure are out the door, girl. They cannot stay up in this house. No. Now the ones that I am kind of on the fence with, like I still need to play with them a little bit more that I can't necessarily let go of them yet, but they're still not an absolute favorite or love for me. These are the ones I'm going to talk about. So the first one is the Myberry Black. It's nice, but there's something in there that's kind of annoying. I like it enough to not want to get rid of it, right? Like, I don't want to get rid of this, but it's not an absolute love for me yet. There's something in here. There's a note in here that kind of just messes with me a little bit. Same with the Sophia by Sophia Vergara. Oh yeah, this was the Myberry Black, by the way. And then this is the Sophia by Sophia Vergara. This one's kind of, there's like a note in here in, in both of these that they smell similar. Not that not dupes or anything like that, but they just smell like Kim Folk, you know what I mean? I sprayed this and I wore this. I actually got like two compliments when I wore this, but it's something, it's that note, there's that note. These two definitely share that same note that kind of just annoys me. This one is nice and for it to be so inexpensive, like I'm not mad at it. I don't want to get rid of it yet, but I still got to play with her. The last one that I'm still kind of on the fence is my Zadik and Voltaire, this is her. This is not a love for me but I don't want to get rid of it yet. You you feel me? Like I'm not ready. I feel like I will eventually come around to this, but just not yet. But yeah, I wore this one to bed a couple nights and it smells okay. A little bit annoying. It's not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, she's, yeah, I'm just not 100% there yet, but I don't want to get rid of this one yet. I still want to play around with that one. So yeah, I'm going to keep that one. And then the ones that I changed my mind on are these two. So the Mancera Roses Vini, it reminds me a lot of uh, MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold. It reminds me of that a lot. So much that when I wore this to work, my coworker asked me if I was wearing that. Like he said, it smelled similar to that. And I told him, no, it was Roses Vini. And he was like, we went on this whole tangent about how perfume smells similar. Anyways, yeah, he thought it was that. I remember when I first got this and I first sprayed this, this thing like literally like shredded my nose hair. Like the nostril hairs, when I smelled it, it like fried them, right? it was so thick and so synthetic and artificial smelling to me and I was like Ugh, no but I don't get that anymore I really don't get that anymore I do still get that syntheticness um that Mancera has I get that but I, I'm starting to get the amberiness of the the fragrance and that vanilla and that warmness of it like I'm starting to get that and I like it definitely can't overspray this one I did spray light with this I only sprayed like maybe three or four sprays which is light for me but it lasted all day and everybody smelled me so that one definitely gonna keep and stay around in my collection don't want to get rid of it and the last one I do is the the YSL Mon Paris and this is nice okay i it is very sweet okay i'm gonna put that out there it's sweet but it's starting to warm up here girl okay it was like 70 degrees listen that is warm for washington <laughs> like i'm showing out my sundress on and everything okay i i yeah i wore this and it wasn't so bad there's a floral in here there's some type of floral note that really kind of pokes its head out as you're wearing it but the sweetness didn't really bother me too much as much as i thought it was originally yeah but i think this is a really nice one especially for spring and summertime i'm i'm not i'm not mad at this one i do like that one so yes this one is definitely going to stay in the collection that's just a recap of what is going to stay and what's going to go y'all see the ones that i'm decluttering i'm for real they, they they're going april i'm gonna send you probably one or two in your package so be expecting that all right let's get into the ones that i do want to pull out and play with over the next two weeks because these are ones that i've been neglecting ones that i'm just like i really want to play with that a little bit more or just i haven't gathered my thoughts on them you know what i mean so yeah i decided to pull these ones out and i'm excited all right so here she is we got a whole tray girl we got a whole tray you can't tell me that i'm not showing out right now i'm not okay so anyways the first one that i want to pull out and i'm gonna wear over the next two weeks is my bdk rouge smoking i bought this like i think maybe the end of january first part of february i just haven't been reaching for it i haven't been pulling for it mainly because it was the winter time and it was really cold i was reaching for my really deep fragrances i feel like this is a lighter fragrance this is a nice vanilla a very like sweet coke 
fizzy type of vanilla, right? It has a little bit of citrus and it has a little bit of that cherry chapstick feel and that vanilla, but the vanilla is a very light vanilla. It's not one of those super deep, thick, rich vanillas. It's like a more softer, fresher type vanilla, if that makes any sense. So yeah, I haven't really been wanting to reach for this. Also, the longevity on this one is not the greatest. I'll be honest. You have to bring this with you and you have to overspray for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna pull this one out and play with this one. That is BDK Rouge Smoking. The next one that I wanna pull out and play with a little bit more is my Tom Ford Metalik. My husband got this for me um, and sent this to me from Korea. I just need to play with this a little bit more. It's the aldehydes in here for me that are like really strong in the initial opening. The dry down is really pretty and creamy, but it's just, I gotta get past the aldehydes and see what it do. I definitely wanna pull this out and play with it a little bit over the next two weeks for sure. Um, the next one is, this is my Jimmy Choo I Want Choo perfume. I haven't played with this in so long. I saw this and I was like, dang, that's really the main reason why I wanted to film this video because I knew I've been neglecting this one. This one is really nice. There is like a peach or something in here and then it dries down to something beautiful. Let me let me see what that is because it is gorgeous. Hold on, let me see. So this has peach, it has mandarin orange, it has jasmine and red lily and vanilla. I'm not the biggest jasmine fan um, and, the, and for jasmine to to be a prominent note in here, I don't really get it. Mmm, that smells so good. That peach is so beautiful. When it dries down though, the vanilla in this, oh girl, it's so beautiful and it lasts all day too. This one smells perfumey though. You know what I mean? Like it smells like a perfume. You know what I mean about that? Like it has a perfumey perfume smell, but I don't mind it. Like I actually really like this one and I feel like this is a really pretty one for the spring and summertime. The only thing that I don't like about this is like when you're trying to spray it, this bottle right here is annoying. Especially like when I put lotion on and stuff and I'll be trying to spray my perfume, it's just really hard to spray with this little nozzle thing. It's annoying. Anyways, that's first world problems, girl. Like, get over it. I am gonna pull that one out. That's Jimmy Choo's I Want You. Okay, and the next one that I wanna pull out is... Ooh, girl, look at this. This is brand spanking new. I have not been using it. I need to pull this one out. Okay, so this is the YSL Leave Intense. There's a note in here. Maybe it's the lavender or something. That is a little, it comes off a little bit too much for me and I haven't been reaching for it. I haven't been wanting to reach for it. I haven't been playing with it at all. As you can tell, it looks brand new. So I wanna see if my feelings have changed on this. I also wanna see if I wanna keep it or if I'm gonna get rid of it for real, for real, because it's really just sitting up there looking pretty. So yeah, I wanna I wanna pull this one out and test this one out a little bit. That is the YSL uh, Leave Intense. All right, the next one that I'm gonna pull out is, y'all didn't even know I had this. This is Jasmine Wisp. I forgot all about this one. Oh, this one smells good. Oh, that smells good. This one is strong, y'all. Mm. You need like two or three sprays of this. I wore it to work one day and like, I didn't realize how strong it was and I oversprayed and I choked out my whole office. So I've been kind of hesitant with that one. It smells good to me, but I grow anosmic to it. Like I can't smell it, but everyone else can smell me. I just haven't been reaching for it that much because I felt really bad about it. So this one, um, it has, it, it's very sweet and very fruity, but there's like a deep, depth to it there's something like deep at the bottom that really plays and like it smells woody to me but yeah i just i haven't been playing with this one i've been kind of scared honestly like really scared of this the next one that i want to pull out is my olympia this is just the original one i remember like when i first started getting into fragrances and watching all the videos like yummy 411 i watched her video she had a video comparing all of them this was the one that i decided to go with i bought this <laughs> I bought this probably like last September and have not worn it. I maybe sprayed it like one or two times and just haven't been playing with it. This is beautiful though. It's like summery to me. I don't know why this, it smells like something for the summer. It smells aquatic and really fresh and sweet and a little bit salty. People would talk about like how salty this was. And, and when I smelled it, I was like, that does not smell salty. It's literally been sitting in my collection, collecting dust. I have not played with this. I want to pull this out and play with this a little bit more. So like really gather my thoughts and my opinions on this because I I don't have any thoughts or opinions on it because I've never worn it so and then the next one is my hundred silent ways by Nishane 
Now, I don't know, this is, I got this one in February when I went crazy and was buying a whole bunch of perfumes. Was it February or March? Mm, yeah, I need to play with this one. I wanted to pull this one out in particular and play with this one because I'm not really sure what my thoughts are. I have not worn this one. I don't know if it's the tuberose in here or what. There's something that, it, it's like sweet and creamy, but there's also something that just kind of like, I don't know. So I definitely want to pull that one out and play with this one. That is Nishane 100 Silent Ways. I just, yeah, I need to play with this one. And then the last one, the last one that I want to pull out and play with. Ooh, look, this is terrible. It's still got dust on it. Girl, I got this like a year ago. Like a year, like for real. Probably like this time last year and have not played with it. This is Alt Thorn Rose number four, but this is the dupe to Tom Ford's Rose Prick. I remember like smelling this and spraying it and being like, oh, who would ever, who would ever wear this? It literally just sat back there. Like there's a whole bunch of dust on it because it just sat back there. And then as I was pulling this stuff out and looking at it, I pulled this one out and I sprayed it. I like this one. That's crazy to me, y'all. That's so crazy. Like how my nose is maturing. Like that's crazy. When I first sprayed this, I was like, oh honey, no. Like it was, it was like disgust. No, it does not smell bad to me anymore. The rose is really nice. It kind of reminds me of the rose in that Kayali elixir. It has a little bit of that rosiness to it. I wanna play with this a little bit more because I feel like my nose has matured a little bit and I'll be able to appreciate it a little bit. So yes, I definitely wanna pull this one out and dust it off because I've had this for a year and have not played with it. And now is the time, it is time. Right, so that is it you guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. These are all the perfumes that I am gonna pull out over the next two weeks. I will follow up in two weeks to kind of give you guys my thoughts and my overview and like what I actually feel on it. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. It was fun, it was. So yes, if you enjoyed today's video, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe. Also don't forget to go over to my Instagram and follow me over there so we can chit chat some more Um, and yeah. Until my next video, bye. Is that cricket? No. <clears throat> Why am I saying it like that? Oh, oh, oh. Mm, I don't know how to say the name. The La you. It reminds me a lot of the um, Gentle Fluid. It reminds me a lot of the Gentle Fluid. For what? It reminds me a lot of the Gentle Fluid. <sighs> mm, I just tasted that. Ew. Mm.